All aboard. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. It's hard to believe that it's been almost two months since new men's basketball coach Walter McCarty took the stage right here in the Meeks Family Fieldhouse and made that clarion call to the Purple Aces Nation saying, get on board. And Purple Aces Nation has done just that, purchasing over a thousand new season tickets. Now, since then, the Aces have been a little busy. The new coaches going out, getting recruits, and building up their schedule, which was released, at least non-conference-wise, this past week. Now comes news of the new whistle-stop tour, so to speak, a caravan that is going to go around the tri-state to meet and greet with all of Purple Aces Nation, that being Walter McCarty. And you'll get your chance to meet up with the new bench boss as the new caravan schedule has come out. I got a chance to talk with Athletic Director Mark Spencer, as well as Assistant Athletic Director Lance Wilkerson, to talk about just what this tour is going to encompass. What was kind of the impetus, if you will, to, to do this kind of caravan? Well, you know, getting a new coach, uh, you know, we haven't done that very often uh, here at Evansville over the past, you know, six decades. So um, getting the coach out into the community, give them a chance to really have a chance to have the personal interaction with the coach. Uh, we know that, you know, uh, folks in southern Indiana and in just this part of the country, um, they very much uh, value the personal relationships. So making sure that they have a chance to build that relationship and to get out in the community instead of just, you know, coming to watch a game and maybe seeing coach on the sideline they want to hear what uh, coach has to say and be able to have a chance to do that interaction. Well, Walter wants to get out in the community and we want to, I've said this many times, put our arms around as many fans as we can in all three states. Uh, you know we're the only division one program very close around here and this is the community's team and now we have a community coach that is actually from Evansville that wants to meet people why not and we also want to make these caravans fun it's uh, a lot of Q&A prizes um, taking pictures with Walt and uh, we've got a lot of great locations and uh, 10 different stops in all three states this is tour is somewhat ambitious you go up to Indianapolis you go over to Mount Carmel which I don't think you guys have really ever really explored and go all the way down into Kentucky even Bowling Green what was kind of the thought process there well you know, the thought process was who wants Coach McCarty and the Aces to come to their place, and we were overwhelmed. As a matter of fact, we actually had to make some cuts. Okay, who, who, where are we going to go with this? So, uh, and also we wanted to make it special, so we really tried to pick uh, certain venues that would be perfect for what we want to do, have a nice sound system, have plenty of room for fans if they come in. But the perfect one is the very first one, uh, uh, the home to the Dunn Hospitality property that is obviously very big, has parking lots, uh, they're getting Bar Louie to cater the food in, so the first one should be outstanding and we're going to have some extra grand prizes just for that one. It's going to be a great entire uh, month leading into the season with Walter McCarty, and this will just add to it because the more people Coach McCarty can touch and the assistant coaches as well, the, the more apt that they're going to want to be invested, whether they get a ticket or whether they make sure to, to watch Aces Insider or read the newspaper and follow us on how we're doing. The more we get people invested, uh, the more they get on board and the more we win. If you can drive here, we wanted to be in your backyard. So I, I think our, our partnership with Learfield uh, and their being able to find a, a new radio partner for us to be able to have a broader reach. Uh, you know, these are uh, fans that will have a chance to be able to listen to Aces games on the radio. Uh, they've always had the chance uh, in the last couple of years to be able to see it on ESPN3 or, the, or that channel of networks. Uh, but we really wanted to be able to reach out to anybody that, you know, could possibly make a trip over. Uh, you know, the, the, we kind of drew that big circle. Indy's a bit of a stretch, but we know that we have a lot of uh, alumni in Indy and a lot of supporters uh, that, that come from the area that maybe don't make it down for multiple games or season tickets, but want to be able to come down and support the Aces. And then, of course, there's some of those natural uh, connections that we have on the Kentucky side having uh, Walter involved. So I think it really was, was finding our footprint, uh, those people that could support us and bringing the coaches to them uh, to be able to, you know, again, build that relationship. There's so many questions out there. It seems as though when you hired Walter, Walter, there was so much excitement that went around that hiring that it also is uh, gotten a lot inquiring minds wanting to know. Is that kind of part of this too? Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's great. I, I was talking to a Kiwanis group this morning, and uh, they wanted to know about the process, the assistant coaches, you know, the recruiting class, uh, hiring the new coach, and especially all the things that we've been doing. We're able to talk about basketball for the next seven months. Uh, normally, it's kind of all last game finished in March, and then we'll talk to you in October when we're you know gearing up for the the season and, and maybe getting the the schedule out and maybe late August. We're excited about being able to keep this conversation going and to build momentum uh, going into a season that, you know, anything can happen.
Every day going into work, everywhere I've gone, especially when I'm with Walt, obviously, um, everybody's talking Aces basketball with the schedule being released. Everyone was excited about that. I know Mark and Walt were uh, working really hard on trying to get a competitive schedule and they, they knocked it out of the park. But yeah, everywhere you go, uh, I'm sure the bookstore is doing well. They're probably selling more shirts. Everybody uh, wants to be in the in the purple and orange, and it's very exciting. And I think, uh, you know, the first year we'll see how it goes. You know, Coach McCarty and his staff are late in the in the process. They've already done very well recruiting, uh, but we're building and building, and I think it'll be a snowball down a mountain. And by the time it gets there, it'll be huge. And uh, we're looking forward to really making aces the way it was when I was a kid. You mentioned the non-conference, so I'll ask you. It is a very ambitious one when you consider Xavier, Illinois, Green Bay, who's, who finds its way into the tournament on a, on a regular basis somewhat, uh, Ball State. It is, it, it's an interesting schedule. Yeah, you know, uh, our new scheduling philosophy, and this was part of our kind of recruitment of the, any of the coaches, whether it was Walter, but we said, you know, we really want to win our backyard. You know, we, we need our fans like our old rivalries. So, um, you know, buying in games from, you know, teams from the coast or, you know, or, or leagues that, you know, nobody's heard of. Um, uh, it just really wasn't doing it for our fans, and, and they've let us know that. So uh, putting together a schedule that, one, uh, our fans recognize, you know, bringing in the local flavors, uh, Miami of Ohio and Ball State, and, and even bringing in, uh, you know, the Mexico Highlands and bringing Craig Snow back. You know, everything has a reason for why we were doing it. Um, but also, in a year that we go 11-1 in non-conference, we're going to be an at-large team. You know, that's, we need to have a resume like we're putting together. Um, it's okay for us to go 7-5 and five in non-conference against the teams that we're playing. Our fans would rather see us go 7-5 and five, uh, than to come out 10-3 and three and have fool's gold and then go into the Valley and, and, and fail. Uh, and Coach uh, McCarty really grasps this, uh, embraces it, and he's like, I need to be battle-tested. I can't go into the Valley and not have played a schedule that is testing me. And the people that we put in front of it are of that same ilk, um, you know, playing two Power Five teams to start the season. That's part of a tournament. Um, but, you know, we take those chances. And the year that you win one or both of those and, and you, you know, win the other games, you're going to put yourself on the map early. And, uh, and that's what we're looking for. Coach McCarty said in his job interview that he wanted to have our kids battle tested, that he wanted to play teams that will get us out of our comfort zone. We're not going to win every one of those games, but when we go and we play at uh, Northern Iowa, we play at Illinois State, that we're not surprised by anything we do or anything we see, and we have the confidence if uh, the game is on the line to be able to compete at that level because of our non-conference schedule. And you combine that with these are the teams that are in our backyard that we want to beat, want to beat out for recruits. We want to be elevate ourselves so you know that was strategic and there were some other schools that we want to get on the schedule that they weren't able to this year but down the road I think you're going to see some other names that our fans would like to see but the bottom line is I would personally rather go you know six and six in the non-conference and 13 and three in the valley you know it, I think that will make us better and ultimately our goal of winning a conference championship and going to the NCAA tournament. So with stops going all the way up to Indianapolis and all the way down to Henderson and Owensboro, Kentucky, and all points in between, there is plenty of opportunities for Purple Aces Nation to get to meet and greet head coach Walter McCarty. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Dan. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.